Brought to you in part by Susan Shoup at Exclusive Realtors, servicing South Chicagoland, Northwest Suburbs, Kankakee, and Will County. Hey, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to be putting some wheels on the truck. I decided I wanted to get rid of the TRX wheels and go with a beadlock look. Um, I don't necessarily need beadlocks, but I just like the way the rings look on the truck so that's what I'm going to go with. My other trucks had it and I just it's just something I like to have. Um, so that means uh, the wheel spacers are going to come off and the offset on these wheels is just a quarter inch different from the actual wheel spacers. So um, the wheel will be sitting in roughly the same spot. Uh, I decided to go with these. These are the Raceline Compass um, they're 18 by 9 and uh, they're good for 2,500 pounds uh, minus 12 offset. This is the steel wheel spacer that is or was on there. Uh, they do get surface rust on them because they are steel so but it is heavy duty. I mean this thing each one of these weighs 11 pounds 11.2 pounds. So, to center this wheel, we have a 106, because the center of this is 106 millimeter to 78. Now, this is exact 77.8. This is a, exactly the same size as the hub on the truck. So, I just, you know, to show it here, that perfectly fits on there, and that will just center the wheel. These are not made to actually hold anything. It's just to help center that wheel before you tighten it down. Now I did weigh the wheels and the TRX wheels and these wheels are actually exactly the same. They're 31.8 pounds. Um, I've seen somebody say they were 30 pounds, but I've ch checked it three times for both and they both came out to 31.8. So I was surprised that they were pretty much exactly the same. Here's the stock wheel and tire. I'm gonna take, uh, take this off. You're just going to make sure if you're doing this that you do not break the bead where the um, TPMS sensor is or else you're going to break it off and then you're going to have to buy another one. I, I did that last time I was in a hurry and I broke it. I thought I could save it but there was no saving it. So another thing I found, uh, put the TPMS sensor in the new wheel after it's mounted. Um, the tire is well after the tire is on the rim not aired up yet obviously but um just do it after that way you don't have to worry about it there either because there's plenty of room for that unless you have a real narrow wheel then you might not be able to do that but this one's a little trickier because the wheel is slightly wider than it should be just by a little bit so it takes a little finesse to get the bead pop valve stem with the sensor from the TRX wheel mounted on it. It's got a small Torx screw on the bottom. I got the uh, wheel lubed up pretty good. So I should be able to get the first bead on there. This has got some raised bolts, so I'm not going to put this down all the way. So it doesn't rub them. Now what I like to do with this, because the wheel is a little bit um, wider than, I, than it should be, just by a little, I'm going to push the up the bead on the bottom down to kind of get pressed on a little bit. Now I'm actually going to lift it back up on this side with the tool so that I can 
hold it back there and pull it up with my arms on this side, but first I gotta put the valve core in. Put these in, I like to take some long needle nose on this tool with something soft here on the edge so I don't scratch the wheel and just pull it up. And that's it. So I got this side pulled up. I gotta switch the hose. Good luck with the, this balancer as long as it's inside that black circle so if I have any issues with it I'll take it somewhere but so far I've done all my cars this way and I haven't had any issues okay as always that is quite a workout changing tires especially this size and actually doing the size of like the caddy ain't easy either because low profiles will beat your ass so Anyway, that's the final result. I like that way better than the uh, this plain black TRX wheel. They're pretty much right there. They're a quarter inch in from the uh, TRX wheels width. The Bora spacers so I'm not really concerned about it it's not that much different but it's I'd say it's just perfect with the fender flares but uh, not only do I like the look of it better I'm also saving 11 pounds at each wheel um, I don't know if that's going to help anything, you know, for acceleration wise or whatever, but it should help with braking and uh, suspension, like going over bumps and stuff. 10 pounds per wheel, because that's sitting, that uh, wheel space you're sitting on the hub, you're just adding 11 pounds there. So now I got that space without it. And now I've, I guess, less maintenance dealing with torquing the wheels down and torquing those down because those are under the wheel, so now you have to check that underneath, and it could just be more work, so, well, it, it is more work. So, but uh, with that being said, those will be for sale, and I'll be selling the wheels and the stock black wheels that came with this to offset me even getting these. So, um, please like and subscribe, uh, more to come, and we'll catch you on the next one.